guys, I recently bought quite a bit of nail polish. It's something that I find myself gravitating towards when every anytime Delia and I are like, hey, we need more toothpaste. We're like, let's walk down the nail polish aisle. So I've been recently into a lot of the collections that come out or I've just been like getting nail polish because it's something that's cheap for like the minute, then it adds up. It's probably not a good idea at all, but I've still been buying nail polish, so I'm going to show you guys what I have bought. So the first place I've been getting nail polish is CVS, and um, they had a sale on the Wet n Wild nail polishes. I only ever buy nail polishes from the drugstore unless they're, like, only, like, really if they're on sale or they're, like, super cheap, because otherwise I'm, like, I can order from, like, cheaper discounted websites, which I'll link down below, that are, like, the exact same price for, like, high-end nail polish. So I'm, like, why well, would I even try for that? So I actually got the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Color, and... This one is like this crazy, it literally has birthday sparkles. Like, this is just birthday. It's like blue, magenta, um, green, and silver. And this is called Party of Five Glitters. I heard about this from uh, 11th Gorgeous, Tracy and Steph, whom I love, who are my favorite nail polish junkies. So if you're also a nail polish junkie, go subscribe to them. I will link them in the down bar. This next one I heard about either from, I think it was... I don't know, I just think a lot of people have been talking about this, and it is Copper Penny by Revlon. Wow, can you even see that? Yeah, Copper Penny by Revlon. Everyone's been talking about this, and it's just like this really pretty, just like, I don't know, shimmery penny copper color, obviously. I really like it, I have nothing like it, and Revlon polishes were buy one, get one 50% off, so I of course got another one, and this one is Hot for Chocolate cute name right so cute and I really been into like browns and I don't have like a deep chocolate brown and I thought that was so pretty and it's gonna look really really nice in the fall time it's already fall so on to Essie I actually found a local like beauty supply store where I live that has Essies where you buy three you get one free and I just think that's such a good deal <laughs> and I've never been able to find Essie discounted online that's like legitimate so this was like a super good deal for me so I ended up getting a four <laughs> obviously and first one I got is a serious cult favorite this one is ballet slippers and I always thought it was overhyped and I never really understood it. And then like, oh my god, when I see pictures of myself wearing this, I'm always like, oh my god, what nail polish is that? Who did that? That's so pretty. And then I'm like, wait, I own that? I'm like obsessed with this. It's a really, really light, like milky nude pink. It's coming off really white on camera, but it's definitely still like a nude pink. It's so, 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 so pretty. Super opaque. I absolutely love the formulation of this. It's like if Bubble Bath by OPI was like a thousand times better, it's this color. I, I'm obsessed with it. The next one looks like literally identical, like basically identical on camera. And I can promise you they're they're really, really different. And per Oh, actually, they're coming off different. Oh, we're solid. Okay. This one is Topless and Barefoot by Essie. And this is just a nude color. I didn't own any nude polishes. And for my skin tone, I feel like this is probably like a perfect nude for me. I have yet to try this on my nails. I'm trying it soon. But I really like it. Um, I've heard, read a lot of reviews on it. It's super pretty and it's just like on a really nice nude. It doesn't lean too grayish or too brown or too yellow or anything. It's just like a perfect nude for my skin tone. So this next one I absolutely love. It's from the Fall Collection and it is ladylike. It is so pretty. I did this with OPI Teenage Dream over it and it was gorgeous. And it's just like this dusty rose colored. It's still like a pinkish nude, but it's definitely darker and more mauve -y, So it's really, really nice for the fall time. And I like it as a transitional color. If you guys know, I've been watching me for a while. I'm obsessed with transitional fall colors. This is definitely one of them. I started wearing this in September and it's just like a really like unique color. And the fourth one is something that's very, not really typically Megan, but I absolutely adore this. I'm not much for dark blue nail polishes. If it's a navy, I love it, but like if we're talking about true blue nail polishes or anything with shimmer and blue, it's just really not my style. I tend to lean towards more either cream finishes or glitter, but this is a shim like a shimmery, like duo chromey one. It is so pretty. It's like this dark blue with like these more like bright cobalt blue shimmer like right there which is typically not a color I go for but I seriously seriously love it it's called Midnight Cami it is flat out gorgeous and it's like one of those really perfect fall nail polish colors that's noticeably blue but it definitely has like a lot more dimension than just like Calypso Blue by China Glaze which is my favorite just like cream navy this one's definitely a lot more blue than navy and the last three polishes I got are from the OPI Muppets collection and I actually wasn't that excited for this like I saw swatches online and I was kind of like meh like baby and then I saw them at the beauty supply store close to me and I <laughs> I died a little bit. I was really, really, really excited. And so the first one I got is Warm and Fozzy. And I have this on in a lot of my recent videos. It's just like this really pretty, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a warm golden brown, but literally the shimmer in it is like every color in the rainbow. You're never, you're not going to be able to tell, but like the shimmer in here is flat out amazing. When you wear it on your nails, it's just like so dimensional and it's like 
probably one of the prettiest colors I've ever had on my nails and it's super unique but I absolutely absolutely love 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 that one so the next two came in one of those like little set things that had like a the toe separators when you paint your toes that came in those ones and I got two which obviously there are two in it one is excuse moi and the other one is rainbow connection and these ones are glitter polishes Rainbow Connection is just like crazy, crazy rainbow glitter. It has hexagon glitter, which is my favorite part, which is the ones that look like stop signs. Actually, those are octagons. Speaking of octagons, there's a hilarious Sesame Street video about octagons. I'll link in the down bar. Also, like this video if you watch Sesame Street still, and to this day you laugh hysterically because, first off, Sesame Street is funny. Like, when I was a little kid, I was like, yeah, I'm learning stuff. Like, when I watch it now, not that I watch it now, I laugh out loud because it's hilariously funny. Like, kudos to people who are at Sesame Street. Like, you're, it's funny. Like, I, I find it funny. Watch the video. But it literally just has like shimmers of every color. There's blue, silver, green, orange, pink, everything. It's just really excuse me. It's like um, it's like a shimmer polish that's got hexagon glitter in it. It's got blue, pink, silver, orange, yellow, gold, and it's just like a red shimmery base. It's just really, really pretty. It's a unique color, and I absolutely love how it looks. All my friends have been recently painting their nails with this color, and I love, love, love it. So the final nail polish thing I got is my October Julep. Maven program. The Julep Monthly like Maven program is like any other monthly subscription except you're getting nail polish which is super cool because I'm I'm like totally obsessed with nail polish and it's like perfect for me. I love 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 it and it's awesome. Um, I'm going to link the price or just write the price in the annotation down where I honestly don't remember because I signed up like a while ago but um, in my one for October I got two polishes and this first one is in Sienna which is a gold, it's like a greenish gold. I don't even know how to describe it. It reminds me a lot more of like more of like a platinum color probably. And then this next one is Emily, which is just a true emerald forest green. I like, I seriously, seriously love these. They are like, I'd probably say like, these are not like, obviously not the size of an OPI. Like, yeah, the product amount is going to be vastly, vastly different. But I would definitely recommend Julep Maven if something is like, if you are on a budget, I really wouldn't spoil it for it. But like, if you're like trying like to find more nail polishes or like build up your nail polish collection or if you're like a serious collector and nail polish is something you really want to invest in, I would definitely go for it. Otherwise, just order like specific polishes. But I absolutely love the program. For me, it's like a perfect fit because I'm not going out and shopping. I want to try out like new nail polish colors that are like perfect for like the seasons. So if you guys are nail polish junkies like me, I would definitely recommend signing up for the Maven box. I really, really love like it I think it's worth my money obviously you guys are gonna have different opinions whether or not you think your dollars being well spent to put personally I love nail polish and I don't think you can ever have too much nail polish so I think it's perfect for me but um, I'm gonna link the down bar the site for Julep Maven so definitely go check it out it's an awesome beauty service and I'm really obsessed with it. okay so that is all of the nail polish I've bought in the last month I probably should start slowing down let's hope I do otherwise I don't really know what's gonna happen but I will talk to you guys later. Googling photos of cats? Yeah, you are. Retarded cats. You're Googling, you Googled retarded cats? Remain up. Retarded. Oh my god, there's so many retarded cats in the world. <laughs>